we're back to Panzer Maddles, as I'm currently trapped in a in a awkward bar with this crazy bitch. We're about to find out what your favourite military tactics are. Let me find out. It's a uh, wheeze, wheeze cough. cough or act. Oh well, um, I'm gonna have to stick with good old wheeze because that's what I did before. You are, you are done. You are, you, you, you have been toasted. <laughs> you are, you, you have been Pringled, son. God, I wasn't expecting that. Me too. I like choking them of their resources. They'll pay for their disloyalty to the Rodina. Loyalty? Rodina? Yes. It means a lot to me and my family. People keep leaving me. Well, look at the time. I gotta go eye my dog. I'm sorry, IS2. I have to go. <laughs> But you didn't leave me. You came here with me now. You're great, Erwin. She slaps you on the back. Ow. <laughs> Ow! Spill your drink. Imagine getting slapped on the back by a tank. <laughs> <laughs> Don't spill, silly. Finish your drink and let's dance. This cranberry juice is going straight to my head and I've got to go. <laughs> <laughs> well. Uh. What are you going to go for? What are you going to go for? I really don't dance. I don't really dance. I, I suffer from squaw syndrome. I don't dance. Everybody can dance, silly. And yet, not everybody should. <laughs> <laughs> you spoil sport. That's okay. You can watch. Don't be picking up my armoured skirt. I don't dream of it. <laughs> she makes her way to the musky floor of the mostly empty bar and begins to dance. I have the perfect opportunity to walk out of here. Saxophone laced innuendo. <laughs> Blit! Yes, too. What did I say about dancing in bar? Ah, uh, alright. She binds and joins you back at the bar. I had the perfect time to leave, why didn't I go? So, she started talking again. So, <laughs> did you like your first day at tank school? Well. It was really, really weird. I'm having trouble getting over the fact that you're a tank. Well, duh, cutie. Why else would I be there? Well, for you it makes sense. You're a tank. A cute tank? Uh, yeah, sure. Fatal mistake. I knew it! Let's drink! <laughs> stop, 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 stop. You're so dead. <laughs> IS2, we have class in the morning, and I said this cranberry juice. Fuck me. That's right. No, no, actually, don't actually do that. Class. In the morning! We have vodka right now! She likes the drinks. Maybe a little too much. Suddenly, an old sounding song comes on over the radio, and the few patrons in the bar begin to toast and sing. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my. Da -da -da -da. It's straight up the Russian national anthem, baby. Wait a second. Isn't that the. Say it. Don't you do it. Don't you faux pas this shit. <laughs> you want to die, you, you, if you want to die, you press German. <laughs> I'm so tempted to press German. I might be able to leave. See what you do. It's up to you. Oh, uh, no. The Soviet hymn. Zastalina. <laughs> you can see a single solitary tear roll down the bartender's cheek. Your patriotism belongs in another time, Tovarish. I just imagine in that moment where it was just like had the devil and the angel on my shoulder. It was like you should say Russian. Be, you should you should say Russian so that you so that you know you don't be a Get dick. Get killed. <laughs> and then it's like no, say German. You might be able to leave. <laughs> the song dies down, and most of the patrons clear out of the bar. I'm gonna head home, Erwin. Want my number? Uh, I'm okay. I'll see you around school. <laughs> oh. Nah, it's fine. I'll see you around school sometime. Seven eight six five one nine three seven zero eight. Call me, won't you? She gets up from her seat and winks at you as she walks out of the bar. There's no way I'm remembering that. <laughs> you finish the last of your drink and the bartender puts out his cigarette. Huh? I don't think you're allowed to smoke bars in bars in Japan. It's also against the bar rules to be a little chickled up in bar, but to not throw you out yet, da? Uh, right. Have a nice night. <laughs> He just froze the bottle at <laughs> <up> my head. <laughs> <laughs> you leave the bar and start walking back to your house. I bought it out of German! <laughs> Deutschland, Deutschland, <laughs> Uber Alice! Another bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Run down the street. 
You make your way home, trekking across the entire town to get there. Damn, that girl dragged me far. You mutter, as you approach your apartment. What a nut, anyway. Seriously. You open the front door and go upstairs to your room. I have a strange, foreboding feeling about this. <gasps> you sit on your bed and take your shoes off one by one. I don't even know. I mean, could she have been any more forward? Let's find out. God, I'm probably going to have to see her at school tomorrow, though. Ah. I need to figure out what her deal is. Hell, what any of this is sank school stuff is. I can't exactly ask the sergeant, and Sherman wasn't much help. Wait, that nurse mentioned a manual. I bet there's a surplus store in town with all that stuff. I'll go there tomorrow. They've got to know something at least. My God! <laughs> Plans! Ideas! You lay your head back on the pillow and fall fast asleep before you even know it. I hope she's not in my room. And a new morning. Z Z Z. Z Z Z. Z Z Z Z Z Z. Oh, my Zs. Back to tank school. Great. Can't even form. <laughs> I'm through drop proper sentences. I'm going to figure out what the hell is going on here today. Oh <laughs> man! <laughs> <laughs> my God, gigantic! <laughs> if I hurry, I can probably stop by the commander's office before class starts. Uh, welcome back to tank school. And here we are. Back at tank school. Huh. It literally does say tank school right on the sign. Still, it's weird as hell. Now, where was that admin office? My god, a long foreboding corridor. It's got to be around there somewhere. Oh, wait, here it is. Just as you're about to open the door, you're greeted by... <laughs> oh, shit. Where do you think you're going, maggot? Ah! You're two seconds away from getting smoked, recruit! Sergeant, this recruit wants to, to speak to command regarding his placement in this school, Sergeant. Do you not like to train, recruit? Do you not like me? I am offended! I will smoke your ass so hard, the base fire crew will come running! I will bottle your tears and drink it on my next run! Now get to class! Hi, right, Sergeant! You salute and walk down the hallway across your classroom. My god, I can't walk down the corridor. Well, shit, that didn't do me much good. <laughs> it would appear that Erwin is not a smart man. I guess the surplus store is the new plan. I'll swing by there after class. They've got to know something, at least. You reach the classroom and walk inside, taking a seat beside M4 Sherman. So is M, you know, Sherman your last name, or...? <laughs> Yo, new guy! Looks like he did come back! Uh... Hey! T-34! See that? You owe me 500 yen! What? We were taking bets that you wouldn't show back up. Looks like I'm five bucks richer. Before you can reply, Gunner Sergeant Hartman enters the room. No! As his clothes tanked, a mouth shut, recruit! This is gonna be a long day. Shut up! That was my mind, I was thinking this. Close your damn mind, son! Okay, okay, I was gonna stop thinking. Uh... <laughs> a few hours later, when you came back out of your catatonic state, I missed everything. The classroom empties at the sound of the bell, and the tanks are all chatting in the, chatting in the hallway. Another day of class over with. I guess I should figure out where that surplus store is before I go off searching for it. Ah, who do I ask though? Please, not that girl. At the other end of the hallway, you can see Panzer IV and T-34 packing their school bags. Oh, it's that German girl tank girl thing, Andy, of a Russian one. I guess I can ask one of them. Uh, excuse me. Who do you ask? I'm asking Panzer IV, I don't like T-34. Ah, <sighs> Irvin! Hello. Ah, uh, yeah. Hey, I was wondering if you knew... No! I know nothing about the Krieg! Where the surplus store is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Force of habit. Force of rabbit. <laughs> sorry. Ooh. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm gonna go. <laughs> uh, yeah, about that store, though. <laughs> it's not like Breslau didn't have significant ties to Prussia anyway. I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, what? All right, surplus store. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, do you know where it is? Please. Mm -hmm. It's just a few kilometers from here. I can walk with you if you'd like. Oh, sure. If it's not too much trouble. Well, don't be silly. I'm happy to be help. She winks at you. I'm not Prussia. 
I don't know what the context of that sentence she is. She is about to storm your Liebens around. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> Panzer IV leads you down the busy Akahi- Akihabara streets. Anime billboards, girls dressed as French maids, and the bustle of tourists are everywhere. And Panzer IV stops more than once to check out kitschy accessories. You reach another street stand, and the man behind the table is selling hair ribbons with cute characters printed on them. Oh my gosh, that's so kawaii! <laughs> she shouts into nobody in particular. Ha, you sure seem excited. I just love kawaii things, Desu. <laughs> You're taking this in Japan thing to heart, aren't you? Like, totally. I love Japan. What first got you into it? L-O-L, she spells out. Probably with the German letters, but I don't know the German alphabet, so... I've always liked Japan, like, since the 40s. <laughs> right, German tank. <laughs> So, does your sister like it here too? <laughs> My sister? Oh, do you mean Tiger Van? They're just cousins. Anyway, she's so boring all the time. She just seems shy to me. Trust me, you haven't had to sit through a family reunion with her. How did that go? Let's just say they stopped doing reunions until 1989. <laughs> did you just make her? Never mind. <laughs> oh, here's the stop! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! That was quick. We barely moved. Do you want to go inside? Oh, I'm actually kind of a little bit banned. Wait, what? <laughs> I swear, I thought it was a deactivated round. Oh no. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> well, I guess that's a good reason as any way to ban someone. <laughs> I'll catch up with you later, Irvin. She winks at you as she walks across the street through traffic. Hope she doesn't blow me up. Through traffic, she's probably dead. <laughs> no, the cars would hit her, and they would die. Millions are dead. Millions. What a weird girl. Each one is crazier than the last. You walk into the surplus store. Oh god. To be met with a real human. And That's guns. a lot of guns! Inside, the walls are lined with weapons from various eras, and towards the back you can see some bookshelves stocked with what look like field manuals and films. A few other customers mill about the store, and a bored-looking shopkeeper sits behind the counter. Sheesh, I'm glad to be in here. At least everything seems normal. Shopkeeper looks up at you as you near the counter. Welcome to Carius surplus. Can I help you with anything? Uh. That's a red version. That that's a red version. That ref- 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 that, that's just a straight up Gavin reference, fro- just an achievement on a reference, because I think he came up in a podcast? I thought it was. No, it's, I thought it was Red vs. Blue. No, it came up in a podcast and then it got put into Red vs. Blue. That's the order. But it's in the first season of Red vs. Blue. Literally, the first season of Red vs. Blue before Gavin was there. Well, maybe we got it the wrong way around then. Uh, anyway, tell me about these tank girls. Say, so at the school just down the road, there's a lot of girls there who refer to themselves as tank girls. What's that all about? Oh, them? Kind of word at first, but they make up for it in other ways. Pretty, aren't they? Uh, sure. I'm old now. <laughs> hey, why are I talking about tank girls? Oh god! Oh, fuck. oh, sweet, sweet Mary on the hood of a Mercedes Benz! <laughs> this guy. This guy. What a surprise! Recruit Lemore, isn't it? Your name in reverse. Sounds yes. kind of familiar. Yes, sir. God, I was not expecting him here. Hey! Don't you dare serve me! Check your eyes or I'll remove them from their sockets! Uh, yes, Sarge. Hmm. What's that you've got in your hand, Sarge? What? It's nothing. Mind your own business, recruit. Doesn't seem like nothing. And you were whistling. What is it? Let me ask you something, recruit. How much experience with tanks? Uh, apparently I'm done training. Ah, a little in basic training. Ha! I knew you weren't that much of a little poof! Okay. <laughs> so, tell me, what do you look like? She? Sergeant, are we talking about... Well, maybe this will straighten you out, recruit. He hands you the DVD that he's held tightly in his hands since the beginning of the conversation. You glance quickly at the title. Triple X Ammo Racks. It has a picture of the mouse super heavy tank on the cover. Shit. Sergeant, is this... He slaps you on the back laughing. It's the only gift you're getting, recruit, so enjoy it! Hell, you're going to jail. (laughs) He laughs to himself as he walks out of the store, waving goodbye to the shopkeeper. Oh wait, this is Japan. This place just keeps getting weirder and weirder. You... And I'm taking this. (laughs) You tuck the DVD under your arm and start heading home. Yes, let's ignore all the questions I could have potentially asked. Let's go. (laughs) I've got what I came for. 
good, hard quality Vin Diesel movie that I didn't know existed. Back in the street, day has turned to night, and the bustle of tourists is replaced by the bustle of slightly more intoxicated tourists. As you walk home through Akihabara, you hear a voice call out from behind you. Oh, Owen! Oh, Owen! <laughs> oh, hey, IS2, what's up? You wouldn't believe how hard you are to catch up with. I swear I had to jog the last three blocks. You followed me for three blocks, eh? Like a Bruce Willis movie. No, six. I just jogged for the last three. Okay. That's mildly disturbing. <gasps> so let's go out! We're already outside, so I'm going. <laughs> you know, I'm something as that sounds. I actually was just heading home. That's okay. I can go with you. Uh, that's no. Come on, let's go. IS2. That's really sweet, but I need to go. Oh, okay. Well, will you call me? No. <laughs> Look, I'm not really into it. Oh, wait, never mind. I'll just call you. Bye, Owen. IS2 smiles at you as she walks up down the street. Weird tanks, weird city. <laughs> you mumble as you continue to make your way home. You're quite the mumbling man, actually. They call me Mumblebee. And I'll be, I think you're actually just called Mr. Mumbles. <laughs> it's good to be fine, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You toss the Cyrus DVD on top of your desk, and then you toss yourself. <laughs> Vigorously. <laughs> and dubitably. <laughs> I was hoping at least the sergeant would have been normal. Looks like that ain't happening. I guess I'll try and get some rest before class tomorrow. You lay on your bed and drift off to sleep. I can't believe the sergeant's hooked up with some of these tank girls. <laughs> That's what you think. He's probably just looked at them. So, who of you, men of large caliber rounds, AT or otherwise, may bounce against properly angled armor? Even the thinnest armor can bounce a high velocity round if the angle is severe enough. Huh. As such, take care to present as little of your armor as possible. Avoid showing the enemy your broadside, and be extremely careful of penetration from the rear. <laughs> rear penetration sounds right up the gunny's alley, yeah, Sherman. <laughs> <laughs> Senpai does have a thing for flanking maneuvers. Really? Because I have some personal intel that he prefers ammo racks. Big ammo racks. Oh, which do you prefer? She grins teasingly. I'm not answering that question, Sherman. Lame! What are you whispering about back there? Sir. Don't you serve me, maggot! Suddenly, you have an idea. This recruit has a question regarding penetration. <laughs> Go on. This recruit is wondering whether or not the size of the bore affects penetration, sir. Is it better to have a large bore, a long barrel, or just the skill to aim well? What the hell are you implying, recruit? This recruit is simply inquiring as to how the sergeant prefers to penetrate tanks. Is it even possible with a smaller gun? <laughs> mm. Oh shit, he's pissed. Mm. Wait, how big is your boar? She whispers. Shimmer not now. You whisper back. Class, outside, we're having a practical drill in angling armor. Recruit Lemor here has graciously volunteered himself as the first target. But, sir? Don't you serve me, maggot! <laughs> outside! Now! Or my boot goes so far up your ass it hits teeth! Uh, you don't have an off switch. <laughs> <laughs> Why the hell would I, son? <laughs> Alright, tanks. Which one of you is going to take the first shot of recruit Lemore here? Sergeant, he can't angle his armor. Well, he best learn real quick, then. I'm going to die. I volunteer, senpai! Well... If it isn't the bright American star herself, Pregnant Center! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> what type of round should I load, Senpai? To the line, Sherman! Load AG! Ah! <laughs> we quick! Angle your armor! How? <laughs> Angle it! Ooh. Ooh. Are you gonna live? Are you gonna die? Are you gonna get murdered right now? This is the end of your game. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take a moment. I'm gonna think about. Yeah, I think about it. <coughs> this is a decision. <coughs> Excuse me.
kidding. <laughs> this is a true decision. It's a tasty decision. But is it the right decision? I guess we'll find out next time. On. Mad! Are you ready for the shortest episode of all time? Because that's what we're going to get next time. <laughs> when you get dead. <laughs> get dead, son. I'll see you later. Get dead!